got boxes, and we're still cramped for space because um, we're still tore up. So we've got three boxes, one package, and one card to um, to go through. And then I just I just got a few questions that I had seen on there. And we'll give you some updates and and uh, get busy here. So um, we're going to save that one for last, for towards the last, and do this box first. This one's from Whole Healthy Pet, and this one is from Blue. Yes, sorry, that's from Blue. Open carefully. I saw that one. And this is from Stinky Pete, which is cool. She's uh, Stinky's from um, Florida. And this is something from Tom. Tom P., our friend in North, uh, wait, wait a minute, um, New Jersey. I need a little strip that says all the state, um, abbreviations, because some of them are a little tricky for me. And then this one's from Amazon. So we'll get started, and then we'll fill you in on what's going on, and what are you doing, Kitty? <laughs> Kitties, they need to learn how to play with those things, I think. And we got papers. Oh, no. Oh, yes, we do have a note. Oh, this is from Gossamer. Thank you, Gossamer. I have heard, seen your name on there a whole bunch lately because I think everybody appreciates what you're doing. Um, taping the... the um, the evening things for everybody for during the day. So thank you for doing that. We got a 30, is it 32? Yep, that's a 32 pack. And uh, we appreciate that. That one, the poultry, it's got shreds, bits, fillets, and fillets in it. Thank you, Gossamer. That will be a well-used box of goodies. And... It says Mars, but I know it's not Mars candy bars. Kitties, God, Gemini, you're playing with that stuff. See, it's a good substitute for paper, isn't it? Oh, and this is the Purina, ch the perfectly chicken. Thank you, thank you. The um, kitties, uh, the baby kitties right now are eating this, and Putter, Putter is it eating this, and so. Is uh, out of jeans. So thank you, Gossamer. There's, you know, no matter what gets sent, there's always, always something here. Our numbers are so high that there's always a kitty that will eat whatever is sent. So thank you, Gossamer, for the frisbees and the, the packets. I appreciate that. Would you guys like that? Say yes, yes. Yes, we would. Okay. You little rascals. You can tell that we're kind of condensed down because they don't have that to play in and it's just everything's been in a mess and they've been picking on each other a little bit today. I said this morning I wouldn't want to um, do this many cats in a smaller area like what we're working in right now because you can tell, well a part of it is because we have furniture stuffed everywhere. That's what it is, I'm sure more than anything is uh, everywhere except right in here. We have furniture stuff for our floor project. And this one's from Stinky Peep. Stinky Peep has been a webcam friend for, gosh, quite a long time. I don't know when you did start, but she's been with us, seems like, from the beginning. And I'm going to cut that out so I don't lose it. And it says to Jackie, the volunteers, the children, and the kitties. That includes, I think, everybody. And it's orange, so maybe it's Halloween. Aww. I'll show this to you. Just wanted to personally wish you a very happy birthday. Best wishes from Mimi. That's Tinky Pete. Um, Squeaky, Cricket, and is it Tuffy? Dear Jackie and all the volunteers, thank you for all you do. 
all day long, every day of the year. You warm my heart and make me laugh. Have a happy Halloween and every other day, too, Mimi. Thank you. Thank you, Mimi. We appreciate that. Isn't that cute? Whoops. There we go. That's what our little rascals look like. Those, every one of those is probably a picture of um, Octavia in her thievery ages and stages. <laughs> See, something else. Thank you, thank you, Pete. Appreciate that. I uh, I think I'll put this up on the wall with um, our hall of cards where Bella's cards all are at. Ooh, and another note. We love notes. Oh, yeah, these are cool. I don't know if any... I'll get them out and show, up, show you. The birdies are for the kitties. I'm sure you need replacements by now. The Hall Halloween pins are for the humans. I think I included enough for the volunteers and children and grandchildren. Cool. I hope they put the same smile on your faces that, that you put on mine. Thank you for everything you do. Stinky Pete 13. Well, these are the... Just in case you haven't been on before when we uh, had these. She's made these uh, once or twice, I think, for the kitties. These are handmade by her. Aren't they look awesome? They are very unique, very individualized. And yes, they love these. They love these. Yeah, it sure sounds like they're filled with catnip, too. Isn't that neat? Stinky Peep, you put a whole lot of work in these. That's a whole lot of different layers, and those are really cool. You know, um, the other morning I was sweeping, and uh, I saw something sticking out from one of the dressers back there and pulled it out, and it was one of these that gotten stuck back there, and it looked great, so obviously it was one that the kitties couldn't get to. So I'm sure it doesn't look like that anymore because they love these. I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to give them three of them and then hold back three for in a week or two so that they're, they get brand new ones. So thank you. I'm, I'll do that tonight um, when I set up the playground for tonight. Thank you. You're, you're super making those. Oh, look at these. Pam, Pam always dresses for the holidays. Pam, here. Oh, that's cute. Here, you can have that one. Oh, thank Isn't you. Isn't that cute? Uh -huh. I, bet you, I bet you you made these, too. These are really cute. Right here. Yeah. 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 Pam always dresses for the, books for the holidays. Oh, how pretty that looks. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Ah, feel free to look on the vest. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's cute. I like that. Let's see what these... Oh, <laughs> Oh, here, Pam. I don't know if you might want a different kind. Oh, the... <laughs> I like these. Huh. Man. Oh, I'll put these up. I'll put these up uh, starting tomorrow morning. And we'll pass them out. Here, Pam. There's a different one, too. No, oh, that's a bat. This is a bat one. Isn't that cute? That took a lot of... A lot of time to do all that ribbon. Oh, wow, yeah. That's what I was Thank you. At. Here's the the fly one. <laughs> Those are cool. Cool. Thank wow. you. I will pass these out. Um, which one do you like the best? One? Oh, I got one laying over there. Okay. They're also nice. They really are. Oh, this one is um. Oh, Frankenstein's head. Oh, it's so cute. And the pumpkin. Oh, oh and, the, and the spiders. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. I'll put these up, and wow. we keep a cage over on the other side that the volunteers kind of know that anything in there is, is meant for them to share. Thank you. Thank you know, you. that really um, tickles me when you guys remember the volunteers because this place could not, no way... Uh, function without without the help of the volunteers. I'll put those I'll put those over there in the pen for uh, the volunteers. So we'll make sure that they know about that. Thank you for doing that. Oh, and cute. we've got a card here from Tom P. He's uh, he sent us cards before. 
always get a kick out of them. Yep, and that's... <laughs> this one, here, excuse me, excuse me. Look at this, this Cobbeth. It says, I dare ya to have a great Halloween. You know what? That really looks like him. Look how ornery that face is. That's our Cobbeth. Dare ya. Make that a double dare for a double great Halloween. Best wishes, Tom, Buddy, and Ashley. Thank you, Tom. You always send cute cards. I always enjoy getting the cards from you. Oh, and, and Buddy and Ashley, I believe if I remember right, and I'll bet are your kitties. So I will put both of these cards. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, that really does look like Cobbeth. He looks so sweet and cute and innocent, but we know Cobbeth. He is not any of those. Well, well, he's cute, of course. We'll put both of these up, Mimi's and Tom's. Thank you. We like to like to have decorations like that. You know, somebody asked me a month or so ago if we were going to decorate for for eat for Halloween, and you know, I've looked and looked and looked for different things, and everything is either well, one really expensive, or um, uh, where the cats would just destroy it in one night. There, nothing was really cat proof, so I ended up not getting anything. Uh, and this one is the one from Whole Healthy Pet. If I remember right, I think we've gotten something from them before. I hear you, Liney. Oh, this is from Susan G. Has sent a gift. Yeah, let's see. Oh, ho, ho. I can tell by what it feels like. What it is. Be careful with that knife. Yep. Hey, Cabby. Yeehaw, we hit the jackpot. These kitties go crazy for these. I'm gonna what I did last time when we got a couple, I put one down that night. Oh wow. These are really strong. <laughs> I never saw anything like that. Oh, they go crazy on these. They this, these will not be the one I put down tonight will not be yellow in the morning. It will be slobbery brown. Hey, cabbage. Cabbage. His nose is twer tweaking on it. Yep, there he goes. Huh. Yeah, he's got it in his paw already. Um, I'll save one and I'll do the same thing as what we'll do for Stinky's, uh, the birdies. We'll we'll space them out in the course of a couple of days. Thank you, thank you. There, those uh, there's a what is it? Yeehaw, yeehaw, Ch chicata banana, yeehaw. Or ye, probably yeow, catnip. But they love those. Remember last week someone um, had asked if they were real bananas because they were they're so yellow and they look I like it. Yeah, <laughs> and I've had that asked before too. I've had a couple people ask me, are those real bananas down there? Because every once in a while I'll toss something down on the floor that's kind of weird, green beans or something for them. Okay, you guys. Now, thank you so much, Susan. I appreciate that. Blue must know me. She's got open carefully, open carefully. So I'm just gonna poke a little hole here. Oh there. I bet you we know what blue is sending. Some more bluebies maybe. Gotta be careful. Wow. What are these? You have sent us a lot over the time, and we use them. Um, there's one in there right now. Oh, wow. Here right. we, we, we use them because the sizes work so well. Oh, look at that. Oh, that neat. Oh, you know who's really going to like this, too? It's Stacy. Stacy likes sparkles and bling bling. Look at that. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got a Halloween one. Oh, my gosh, Blue. There's a whole bunch in here. Yep, these these wash up so nicely. Yeah, and those are Halloweeny colors too. There's another one. Yeah, these uh, is that what these all are? Oh, oh, we'll save. Oh, there's a letter in there too. You know, these are really cool, blue. Uh, these yellow or these round ones. Um, 
Oh, I don't know if you remember. Every once in a while, I'll put over here that it's uh, a stand. It's about so high, and it has eight cubby holes in it with the um, little paddles out on the side. These fit perfectly inside those eight uh, cubby holes. So we'll take, we will put those in there. Hey, you put my net down already. We should, don't you think we should wait till morning for that? Okay, let's not be fighting over the Chiquita Banana. Here, this kitty needs, no, no. Oh, I see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that goes back in there. Badu, I'll show your bones. Oh, this must be blue. This gives me a good reminder. Hi, DJ. It says, hello, everyone. I heard that some smaller size blue beans would be helpful. Now, who tells you guys these things? That's very true. So I heard you need some smaller size bluebies would be helpful for the smaller cubby holes in places where the larger ones were just a bit too big. Very true, and you got the right word. I didn't really know what size, so I hope these will do. I have made some smaller rectangular ones, too, so those will be coming shortly. Thank you for everyone, or thank you everyone for your time and effort for the kitty. Love watching the cam and seeing the love you all have for the cat. Thank you. Blue. P.S. I added a couple Halloween colored blue beads. And here is my picture for the cam wall. Sorry it's a little blurry. No, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Blue. I appreciate that. And this leads me to remind everybody, um, I've got the magnetic board over there. And I'm starting, I've got some of the pictures up there. Kurt is going to help me get some of them out um, of the computer. And he's going to put it on this kind of... Uh, um, paper so that I can hang it up there and it's really nice and I appreciate you putting your names on the back too and um, let me check something here uh, yeah uh, I've got a few up there but keep them coming if you haven't mailed me your picture uh, please do I just put it up there and I just love it it's so nice for me to be able to see a face with the names that come through here. So thank you, Blue. I appreciate that. And I'll stick that up there tonight. And thank you for the Halloween ones. Look at this, you guys. Do you want that one down there for the night? Somebody will lay on it. And thank you. And Blue, these are perfect. These will fit in those cubby holes just perfect. And I know that these will wash and dry really super fine. So thank you for all of this, you guys. It's always fun when we see the UPS truck come or the USPS truck come or FedEx come. We 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 do love those boxes very very much. Uh, I had some questions that I took off the cam or the the chat earlier, and I did get an email today from Tori that I just found. Uh, she's from Nevada and she asked the best kind of cat litter. What we use here because of the. Um, well, I like it because of the price and because of the quality of it. Is it's just um, tidy scoop, tidy, tidy cat, tidy cat. That's what it is. And uh, it comes in blue, yellow, or no, blue, red, or green caps. We usually get the blue first and the red. Um, we can uh, if if we time it just right, and, ooh, get enough quantity. You okay, you're in a scene. Oh, She's a little tipped. Um, we can get enough to get us through to the next sale. Myers has it on sale quite a bit. Uh, sometimes we use Fresh Step. There is one kind that I get every once in a while for my house kitties, and uh, it's that uh, Precious. The Precious cat litter is sold at Pet Supply Plus, but for the majority of what's in here, we use the Tidy Scoop. It's, it's uh, got a good price on it. We can usually get some coupons. Not always very many coupons, but I, I scavenge every one that I can get. And um, it holds the potty together really well. And we just like it. That's the one that we get donated the most to. Oh, and the kind of pooper scooper. Let me show you. Yeah. You won't be doing this long. No, I'll do it. I'll wait till I get ready a little bit later. Yeah, thank you, Pam, for asking, though. 
We'll see you next Wednesday? Yeah. All right, thanks a bunch. These are the pooper scoopers that we use. And uh, they're metal. We wash these probably three, three times a day. They probably get washed at least twice. And we get these at Pet Supply Plus sells them. And also Pet Smart sells these. Um, they're metal. They're really good. We used to, a long time ago, use plastic, and they always broke. And, but, you know, you got to remember, we scoop a lot of potty during the day, and these are awesome. The only thing that we ever have break is this, can't, this part of the plastic, so we can't always hang them up. Out of all the years we've used these kind, it's only cracked. I've only ever had one crack right here, but it was still usable. I think these run like $10, and uh, they work great. So, yeah, they're big and scoop a whole lot of poop. And we're, we're the professional pooper scoopers. Ah. Um, Nika asked about Zelda. Zelda is still here. And uh, I don't see her right now. There's a whole bunch of them down here playing with the boxes. And Hudson's playing down here with the, uh, <laughs> with the catnip uh, banana. And one end is already soaked, it looks like. Uh, but the lady that was going to come and look at Zelda, she didn't get to come. And uh, some kind of conflict, she said that she would call me. So I'm not sure where that's standing at. But uh, when she does come, I know she wanted to look at black and white females. So that would obviously be Berka, um, Octavia, uh, Zelda, and Georgia. So those would be the four that I would show her. Cat Lover 14 asked how the five babies are. They're doing really good. Um, Donna and uh, Shalane are doing awesome. Those two kitties came out of the room. Root and Juden just flying like crazy, acted like they've never not been here. Just crazy little kitties. They're they're just wonderful. Hey brothers, brothers, be nice. Oh, thank you, Pam. That's nice. Be careful. And uh, they're doing they're doing super well. They've got their first vaccines in them. And uh, then we have Nuki. Nuki is doing pretty good. He she seems to be off a little bit this evening. So I've got her in a pen. We've got her over there in the top pen. Hey, and Pam, did you give her anything? Okay. Yeah, you did. Okay. Did she eat it by chance? Not much. Okay. I she, gave her baby food. Nuki's the one, that beautiful gray kitty that came in. She's got that nasty sore on the inside of her leg that had been so hugely swollen. She's still on antibiotics, and that might be upsetting her tummy a little. Okay, there she is. There's Nuki. Hi, baby cake. Aww. Aww. Hi, Nuki. Hi, Let's check out. Yeah, it's, her wound is getting smaller and smaller. Even the tips here was so mucked up. You just had a horrible, oh, you know what, this one looks, yeah, another scabby off. You poor thing. I don't know if that was a drag on the road or what on this one. Oh, shoot, there we go. Now we got that open better. We've been cleaning those off a couple times a day. Yeah, that's still pretty darn sore. But um, she's doing good. I'm just going to keep her separated in the pen just for tonight, and we'll keep track of her a little better. She's a good dry kitty food eater though and that royal cannon baby cat dry food she loves that and then we have um um dolphy which of course he's just uh dolphy's just a crazy kitty he's just uh we love him he's the first one out the door and he's just as a go 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 boy and then that leads us to our weasley boy weasley is just weasley he's He's wonderful. Oh, he's looking at me right now through the through the glass. He's sleeping beside the a monkey that Ohio Peepers got for Bella. He's awfully cute. Yeah, there's Dolphy. But Weasley is uh, eating pretty good by himself. He really is. But we we supplement him. I think we've uh, supplemented him three, four times again today. And I weighed him and I double checked. And I I this morning when we weighed him, I said that he had only gained one ounce. It's actually three ounces. I went back and checked my records better. He's gained three ounces. So that's major. That's a major good weight gain. But he is really, really a little boy because we've had him 
what, two weeks now, and he's still about the same size, so we got to keep pushing him on. Uh, Tommy asked how Queen was, and I'm assuming you mean ba Queen Bella. She's awesome. It's two weeks ago today that her surgery was. Her incision site looks wonderful. Uh, we've left her out for the good part of today, but she's not... She got up there once yesterday, or was that this morning? And but she's not screwing around all of this that she's done before. Um, but that's okay. We want her to kind of take it easy and just be still a little bit. We don't want too much something because when you feel where that incision is, if you press on that, you can still feel that bone there. And so we just want to do this nice and slow. But today. It's like she knows she's got to take it easy. So as long as she's sleeping here and then gets up and goes over there to sleep and just kind of takes it easy. We left her out all day. But she's back in her room uh, for tonight with all five of her babies. And it's just a real peaceful room in there. They, I think they love each other. Uh, PJ Moore, did I, I'm not sure if I said that right, asked about Einstein. You know, I never knew how much... His voice came through the back door till we had the sound on, I think it was a couple of days ago, and it's like, holy macros, everybody heard him like that all the time? He's a squawker, and I didn't realize that you could hear him so well out here. But he's a eclectus parrot. He's about three years old. He's got the green feathers with the beautiful red scarlet underneath here. The girl eclectus um, parrots are, are red on the outside where his is green. He's an awesome bird. I love him. And uh, uh, I, I didn't write down who asked, but said to tell about Dubster and Einie. Dubster is Kurt's uh, racer's cat, you know, the gold and white one. And my my Einstein, I have, how many cats do I have in the house? 10 or 11? I have 10, I think. Although it seems like 20 at times. But Einstein has put every one of those kitties in their place. When he first started coming out of his pen like two years ago, I mean, he was the, he's the boss. He, you you uh, do anything, or the cats would do anything near him that he didn't like, and he would just rock. And the birds, or the cats learned that you better not be messing with Einstein. Well, Dubster, he has not done that to Dubster, and I don't understand why. So, Dugster and him seem to have some kind of like a love-hate relationship, maybe. Sometimes they get along really good, and sometimes it's like, oh, are we sure that they're safe? But Einstein's out all the time during the day. Dugster is too, of course, and everything's okay. Dugster has actually been seen to go over and put his mouth over Einstein's neck. And it's like Einstein is just cool and calm, and it's almost like a game to him. I think I know why Dubster likes Einstein, though. You know, Einstein birds are supposed to get lots of fruit and vegetables, and so that's what I give him for his breakfast. He gets a variety of those things, and I put them on top of his pen. And the leftovers, Dubster's been going up there and eating his um, carrots and whatever's up there, the broccoli I think he got one day. Dubster is a foodaholic, and he just gets into that, so he's crazy. Um... Nika Roos asked about the next surgery dates. It's a week from this Saturday. It's November 5th. And I think almost everybody in here that's not neutered is going to go get neutered. I think everybody's of weight almost borrowing Weasley, of course. But pretty much everybody else is going to be okay to go. So we're going to keep Dr. Cindy real busy that day. Bonnie's coming in, Lynette's coming in, and Sue's coming in. So we've got a good, good crew there. And we're going to get these guys all done. I'll get them on pet finders because November, December, January are our, in February, are our four best months for adoption. Joe asked, um, the sneezing kitty is okay? Yes, they're okay. Cassie, or, uh, no. Hey, hey, hey. Now wait. How does, you should pick on somebody your own size, dude. Um, not somebody bigger than you. Um... The three, uh, Claudius, uh, Cassie, and oh my gosh, my mind went blank. Chia. Uh, those are the, the three Goldie, or the three Grays. They do have a tiny bit of a cold. It's no real big deal. They're still eating. They're not congested here. They do have a little bit of a cold. 
Thank goodness this time of year, most everybody's got their vaccines pretty current in them. We've got them full maxed on them. So we're, we're going to be fine. It's just a little cold, just like when kindergartner kids get together. The colds and the sneezes go around a little bit. And in all reality, it boosts their immune system, and they're, they're going to be fine. And I think that was my last question. Um, Kurt put the chat box up here on the TV screen for me. Uh, and that's what, you know, Greg was here this afternoon, and he had such a lot of fun with that. So if anybody has any questions, if you pop that on there, I can still get a couple if you do. Um, but regardless, uh, brawling. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Caroline Ash. Greg had a really good time on that today, so uh, it was fun for him. I think that's all I have. How is my Asha girl? Yours and my Asha girl. I love Asha. We'll put her dress up for for um, Halloween. We probably should dress them up a little bit because we have a whole bunch of costumes for them. What about these needs? This Friday or next Monday is the 10th day of what they mark stat for um, determining what they're going to do. So I imagine they're going to wait, make us wait to the very last end. And Asha is wonderful. She, she's, she's an awesome cat. What came first, the house or the clinic? The house came first, then we had dog boarding, and then I did, or no, yeah, then I did wildlife um, rehab, then the kitty rehab, or the kitty rescue, and then the clinic came last. I love Asha, too. Did they put the video in there? Crunchy the cat. What is my background? My background? Um, well, after high school, I went to nursing school. I was a licensed practical nurse with an um, extra license to do, do meds. And I did that for quite a few years. And then um, I worked at a Girl Scout camp where I taught for, for years, made up programs and taught the programs to uh, children from schools that would come to the camp and uh, we did uh, environmental ed programs. I loved it. Always said the only thing that would ever get me to leave Camp Libby was if I was offered a um, job at a vet's office, which I was. A vet called me up, asked me if I was interested in a position, and I took it very quickly and loved it. I worked there for almost 10 years. At the same time, I was working there at, as a um, an assistant there. Uh, at the end of my time there, I started also doing the wildlife. We had uh, the uh, Wildlife Orphanage Rehab Center. I did that for a number of years also. And we took in about 500 wild animals a year, rehabbed them, kind of like this, but instead of adopting them out, they were in fact put back in the woods. And then, um, then I got involved in the kitties. And this is where my passion is. I love this, and this is where I'm staying at. This is it. I probably missed something. Oh, Kavas, did you swallow wrong? Or are you okay? Can we see Weasley, please? There he is. Boy, he wants us to hold him all the time. Yeah. I think you just love us so much, huh? Yes, and you have such a pitiful look sometimes. His belly's full, so I'm not even going. I'm not going to syringe him anymore tonight. I think we got the stuck kitty unstuck. So, you know, little Weasley boy. I think your real name is Weasley. All right, let's stick back with Bella. Yeah. You go in and eat some more, okay, buddy? Oh, 
Okay, so is that it then? Um, he's going to be along here. Can he be shipped? No. Uh, you need a vacation? No. I would have to be on my deathbed to get a vacation. You had the perfect job. I agree with you a thousand percent. I love it here. What was the most unusual animal you had? I'm assuming you mean when I had the wildlife. It was probably an alligator, which, you know, we don't get those here. But uh, the police was called to um, something that was bobbing up and down in the, one of our rivers here. It was a plastic Tupperware container. And so they sent a scuba diver out, and it was all wrapped up. And when they opened that up, it was a alligator, which grew about like this before I could get it into a reptile place. So that was probably the weirdest one we had ever taken in. And thank you, guys. Thank you very, very much. We'll be back here tomorrow night, boxes or not. Um, we'll... Because if you guys like the updates, I'll be glad to give those whether we have boxes or not. So thank you for sharing with us. Um, we're oh, I didn't tell you about the floor. We have a little change of value or change of plan on the floor. Um, they were not going to get done until Friday morning was going to be the last layer of the epoxy put on, but they did a different system. And so this morning they came in and laid the second cobbas. Quit chewing the plates. He doesn't eat them. He just chops on them. Um, they came in, swept off all the old quartz, and then they put down another layer of epoxy and then came in and slung the quartz all over it again. Looks like sand. And then they uh, came back this afternoon and brushed that all off, then swept it off, and then they put the first sealer epoxy layer on top of it. It looks really nice. And then tomorrow morning they come back in again, lay down the next coat of that. So they're really like one day ahead. So that's Thursday. And then Friday morning they're going to reinstall the toilet in our little bathroom and put all the new mop boards back up. And then they're done. So then that means Saturday afternoon, maybe, we'll start moving back in. So we're ahead of schedule a little bit. It looks really nice. This floor is awesome. I'm, I'm extremely happy that, that it didn't work out with that first company that we, we went ahead with the second one. This is a very, very durable floor. It's going to last us forever. And um, I'm just really, really pleased with it. He's, he was going to give me an estimate for in here. But he got so busy that he, he didn't get to. I'm hoping I'm going to catch him tomorrow morning. Actually, I might put a note on the door, remind him. Do I need an estimate. And I got thinking about this today. If we can do it, how are we going to do it? Because there is no way we can shove, if we do it, all the rest of this rescue center has to be, will be doing at one time. And to do that, all the furniture is going to have to go into the office. I mean, it's going to be jam-packed full of all this furniture. It's going to be tight. And then it's like, well, we're, what do we do with the kitties? So we won't be able to put them in Kitty City because um, Kurt is working in there, you know, with the uh, shelves. And also when he's done, right away after he's done, I know those cats from Cats Cove is going to have to go in there. So I think what we'll do is pack up all the cats and take them to your house. <laughs> I wish. No, we're going to take them out to the clinic. Um, we'll take them to the clinic. And I asked Kurt about if we could get a cam out there because this project in here will probably take um, five full days, I think is what they're thinking. So we got to have a cam out there. We would miss you guys, and I hope you would miss the kitties. So we will um, take them out to the clinic and just tell them it'll only be for five days and then we'll bring them back out here. But it, we, there's no way else that we can do it, and they're not all this many coming in my house. So I love you guys, but you can't do that. So we'll keep you posted on if we get to do this part, and um, thank you again for being here. You guys are wonderful. And please remember to vote. Um, we're still number one. I would just, just, oh, my word, I can't imagine... Uh, what oh, the ecstasy we I mean it would just be thrilling if we won that five thousand dollars it would just
where we'd be hip hopping all around here. So thank you. Keep voting. Help your friends. Invite them to vote for us. And we will talk to you all later. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. You gonna help me put away? <laughs> okay, we gotta get organized here. Oh, wait a minute. There's oats or not. Oh, yeah, this is what I what real quick. I wanted to show you one more thing. This is um, the, the box that came, you know, tonight I showed you. I wanted to show you what, there, is that about right? The decorations. Isn't that cool? I knew there was something else I wanted to show you. Hope you can see that because it's all decorated up real cool for Halloween. I loved it. The extra effort. And even Blue put an autumn design on her envelope. You guys like all that stuff, don't you? Uh, 